Hey there. So this video is about uh, solution of this specific assignment. So those who have uh, studied Verilog and test benches, uh, they should not jump to the solution part of it. They should just read this assignment and try this out. And uh, if they struggle in it, then uh, they can look into the next part of the video where we are uh, discussing the solution. Otherwise, they should just pause here and look at the assignment and try to solve it themselves. Uh, or even if when they, are, they have solved it, they can also just get back to the next part of it where they, uh, they can compare the solution with my solution that I'll be discussing here. So now I'm coming to the solution. So if you want to do it yourself, pause it right here. Okay, so the question is that this is a design of reg file. So uh, we have four registers, one demultiplexer controlling the enable signal of each registers uh, and uh, a data in that has been broadcasted to all registers and a mux that is selecting uh, which register to uh, forward at the data outline. So uh, you are asked to write a reg file dot uh, and very very log code that implements this design. So you don't have to design it; you just have to implement it. Design is already there, and then you have to write a test bench that uh, writes a few values to registers and then reads reads it back in a specific order. So I'll start with the first part that is writing reg file dot p. So um, so I'll already I've already shared the very log uh, uh, slides. So if you know that, then first you have to create a file, that's file.v. And fr from there, uh, you you read, uh, you write the port list. So, so here is my reg file.v. So uh, if I just, moment. so you can see that uh, these are the port lists, uh, address, write, data in, data out, and clock and reset, just like in the diagram. So in the diagram, we haven't shown clock and reset, but there, if there are registers, then there is uh, underlying assumption that they're running on a clock and there's a reset signal, rest of the signals are same. So next thing is that we just write one by one uh, all these blocks. So let's say if I start from left, this is my this is a DMUX. So if I go to the Verilog slides that I've already shared, so, uh, so from where uh, here we can see that uh, a DMUX is written in this way, uh, so uh, we can follow uh, the same way here. So we can just uh, have an always and static statement and then case select line. And here we have the code for DMUX. So we, uh, if we look at the diagram, uh, we have to have four write enables for each register. Uh, and there is one write coming in. So we have declared write zero, write one, write two, and write three uh, as regis. And we have uh, made a case statement in which we assign all of them at once. And uh, we assign, uh, if the address is zero, write, uh, write zero should be one. So we have assigned one to write zero and zero to the rest. And in, uh, if it is one, then write one will be one, while the rest of them will be zero and so on. So this is how we write the code of DMUX. So if you have already gone through the video of Verilog coding, then you should know that. So next part is writing registers. So again, if I go to the Verilog slides, uh, this is how we write code for a register. Uh, and if there is an enable, then we write else if, and then uh, put an enable there. So in our case, there is an enable signal. So this is the code of uh, registers and each write signal uh, in this uh, code, uh, uh, this DMUX is going to act as a uh, as an enable of every register, and data in will be the data in of every register. So here is how you write register: always at positive log, if reset, reg zero is zero, reg one, reg two, reg three, all are the same. Uh, just what changes is that if write zero is one, then data in will be written in reg zero. If write one is one, data in will be written in reg one, and so on. So this is how we write code for registers. Then we have a mux here. Again, mux is written as a case statement. Uh, if we go to the Verilog slides, it's right there. Uh, we have discussed how we write a code for a mux. So similarly here, we have, uh, we have written code for a mux, always at static, case, 
uh, address and data out is selected based on address. If, if, if it is zero, then reg zero is forwarded. If it is one, reg one is forwarded, just like it's shown in the uh, diagram here. Reg zero, one, two, and three should be tied based on address. So since we have written all the components, so first part is done. Next part is to write a test bench to test this thing. And uh, so what we do in the test bench is that we copy this thing and we paste it in the test bench file. Test bench file has it doesn't have any input and output. We just uh, 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 declare the inputs generally as regs and outputs as wires. Uh, and then we uh, write this code for creating a clock. This is, has been co covered in the previous lectures. And uh, if we have, uh, if we want to have a dump file to view waveform, then we write code for that. And uh, what what has been asked here is to write a test bench such that it implements uh, uh, write four different numbers to register to zero or to three in four consecutive cycles. So here I have written code. Uh, uh, first of all, I have just uh, assigned inputs uh, other than clock because clock is assigned here. Rest of the inputs I have assigned them to zero to at the start, and then these four lines are just resetting our circuit and just uh, passing 10 uh, clock cycles. Now, the next part is this one write four different numbers in four consecutive cycles. So, this is a requirement here that we want to write four values in four consecutive cycles. So, here what I have done is uh, this is just to display is to print something on console and what I have done is that I have created a for loop and just like in C uh, we can have a for loop I have declared I as an integer so in Verilog we don't write int but we write integer complete integer and we don't have I plus plus we have to write I is equal to I plus one so uh, rest of the things are pretty much similar so um, here what I have done is that I have uh, assigned address as i. So i is going uh, from 0 to 3. So uh, in every cycle, i will be 0. Or first, in first cycle, it will be 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. Uh, write is 1 in all cycles. And uh, I had to write any value. To, uh, so I have used uh, just multiplied i with 16 and uh, written that. Uh, in the reg file, you can use any value as per assignment. There was no restriction here. You can actually use dollar random here if you want to uh, really select a random value. And then I uh, 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 we spend a uh, posage clock so that this uh, is executed because uh, every transaction is executed on a posage clock. After that, in the next iteration again, we just uh, have a delay of one and then we assign things and then we uh, delay for for a clock cycle and so on uh, in the end when we have written all the four values uh, we just set write to zero and rest to zero and data to zero so next part is that we want to uh, wait for 10 cycles so for 10 cycles uh, we just um, repeat 10 at pause clock and uh, that's it and after that we want to uh, read values the so next part is that uh, we want to read values in four consecutive cycles. So this is the same loop, just that we, I don't have to assign write or data in. I just need to change the address. So I am just changing the address. And after that, uh, I am just delaying for one cycle, uh, one tick, not cycle, because cycle is 10, 10 ticks. So uh, I am just delaying for one tick. And then I have this condition that if data does not match with uh, with the value that I was expecting, I into 16, and I'll, I'll raise a flag. So right now I've commented this out just because I want to display it uh, every time. So uh, right now there will be a false flag that it is mismatch even if it is correct, but I want to see the values. So that's why I've just commented it, but uh, uh, after that I'll just uh, uncomment this part. Uh, and then third thing is uh, that uh, next part was write for uh, more values, uh, uh, which are separate from party uh, with five cycle gap between writes. So this is again a loop with uh, a similar loop, but in between I, uh, uh, I just spend five idle cycles. So after pause this log, I, I repeat uh, four cycles with, uh, uh, with writing nothing. Similarly, next part is to read five values. Uh, and here I have changed the value uh, that I am writing. Uh, so where is it? Is uh, uh, Instead of i into 16, I am using i into 32. And uh, 
similarly and this is the uh, code reading those values uh, and again i've just added uh, delay for five cycles just uh, as per uh, question and uh, again i have commented this if uh, so that i just can see the values uh, all the values so now i'm going to run it so here is the code so i'll just uh, open it in a powershell window and i'll just compile it let's say so uh, so i'm just uh, asking i verilog to compile our verilog files and generate an output as uh, tbrage file dot vvp file so it has generated it now i want to run it so to run it i again uh, use vvp and just give the file so now you can see that although uh, this is mistakenly written as mismatch because i have disabled the if statement but we have in hexadecimal 0 10 20 30 uh, and 0 20 40 16 hexadecimal 10 is uh, 16 and 20 is 32 and 30 is uh, the next multiple and similarly uh, here uh, 30, 20 is 32 and 40 is 64 and so on so these values are correct if i want to actually uh, now uh, enable the if statement so so that it's only displayed if there is error uh, then I'll, i can just uh, uncomment those parts and recompile it rerun it and you can see that uh, there is no error message and i have written in, uh, uh, to the uh, to the regis and read back uh, uh, you can also view the wave file so because we, we generated a sorry, utk wave i just use the wrong spellings and you can see the values being written in the uh, in the regis here so reg 0 takes value 10 20 and 30 and later on 20 40 and 50 and you can actually verify this so i'll be sharing the code with you and i'll uh, put the link in the description uh, for both uh, these codes uh, as well as, uh, as as well as the verilog file